from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, June the 13th, 2019. A rocket was fired from Gaza this evening at Israel. The projectile hit a Chabad building that serves as a synagogue and as a yeshiva in the southern Israeli town of Sterot, causing damage to the outside of the building and sending debris to the ground but no injuries, as students were already away for the weekend. It was the second rocket attack aimed at southern Israel from Gaza in the last 24 hours. Earlier today, the IDF said a rocket was launched from Gaza at southern Israel around midnight last night. It was intercepted by the Iron Dome Missile Defense Battery, and no damage or injury was caused. In response, the IDF wrote, we responded to the attack by striking an underground terror infrastructure in a Hamas compound in Gaza. And after a spate of incendiary devices, as well as an explosive device sent over the Gaza border fence into southern Israel, Israel yesterday said that it was imposing a naval closure on the Strip until further notice. Under the unofficial ceasefire said to have been reached last month between Israel and terror group Hamas, who controls Gaza, Hamas reportedly committed to halting all violent incidents along the fence, including the launching of incendiary balloons. And in return, Israel expanded the fishing zone in Gaza, among other beneficial conditions. And Israeli troops arrested a Palestinian today in the West Bank who had an M16 in his car. The soldiers were operating near the Arab village of Ras Karkar when they spotted a suspicious vehicle and found the weapon during a security check. The United States and Argentina held a summit in Buenos Aires this week dealing with the continuing threat of Iranian-backed terror group Hezbollah. The summit comes just ahead of the 25th anniversary of the terrorist bombing of the AMIA Jewish Center in the capital, believed to have been carried out by the terror group on July the 18th of 1994, killing 85 people and wounding over 300. Argentina's embassies in 20 cities around the world will mark the somber occasion in a joint initiative with the World Jewish Congress on the anniversary next month. And the World Jewish Congress joined the Israel Consulate in New York to launch a new program this week, the Startup Nation Mentorship, where outstanding student leaders will be partnered with Israeli business, technology, and government leaders. Former Congressman Steve Israel attended the launch Tuesday night, along with Consul for Public Diplomacy at the Consulate, Galit Peleg, who said in light of the negative attitude towards Israel in many U.S. campuses today, it is essential to think out of the box in order to expose future generations of influencers, including America's next CEOs, to the advantages of the close bilateral relations between our two countries. The city of Lodz in Poland hosted its first Jewish festival in decades. The Festival of Tranquility was held last week over the Jewish holiday of Shavuot. Organized by the Foundation for the Preservation of Jewish Heritage in Poland, in collaboration with Shave Israel Emissary to Lodz, Rabbi David Szczawski. It included cultural aspects like films and artistic workshops and music, as well as Torah study. Szczawski said the residents of Lodz joined us to take pause, open up to one another, and learn about the contemporary life of the Polish Jewish community. The community of Lodz was once a vibrant Jewish one before it was almost completely decimated by the Nazis during the Holocaust. Well, legendary Jewish baseball player Hank Greenberg's record was broken last week of the most home runs by a Jewish baseball player. The JTA reports that Ryan Braun now holds that distinction. Braun's father is a Jewish Israeli, and he has said he is proud of being Jewish, though he does not practice. He hit his 332nd career homer in a game against the Pittsburgh Pirates on Friday. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Thursday, June the 13th at 7 o'clock, it's Talmud study. At 8, a discussion on whether faith divides or unites us. 
At 9, Mark Gallup sits down with the leader of Klal, Brad Hirschfeld, on the Chaim. At 10, filmmaker Jamie Bernstein talks about life with her father, legendary conductor and composer, the late Leonard Bernstein. And coming up right after this newscast, it's the Jewish world. And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, June the 13th, 2019. I'm Tisha Bader.